A mission to save lives born out of tragedy. After nearly 800 crashes on Empire Boulevard over the last five years, some of them fatal, an effort now to make change. Christian Garzon spoke with a man who lost his mom on the stretch of roadway. Now he wants to make sure it doesn't happen to anyone else. Christian, jo Christian joins us live in Penfield with more. Christian. Yeah, some have weighed in asking for more of a police presence here. Caution lights, a traffic signal, really anything as the road dips down into the bay here. And the DOT telling News 8 they're giving Empire Boulevard another look. Howard Deach lost his mother, Jean, at the bottom of the hill here on Empire Boulevard in 2018. I'm very concerned every time you make a left in or out, you take your life into your hands. This roadway is a constant reminder. Deach uses this tragedy as a way to draw attention to the growing concerns here. I've worked very hard trying to get someone in the state to do something. Deach said in correspondence from the state there was a traffic study done in 2021 with the Department of Transportation saying there's no need for any kind of traffic signal or for a reduction in speed. It's very important that something be done to make this road safer. The DOT said in a statement to News 8, we take the concerns of the community very seriously and they will review the Empire Boulevard corridor to determine whether any potential safety enhancements are warranted. Empire Boulevard has always been an issue. Penfield Town Council member Linda Cole says as a state road, the state really just wants to move traffic through. But as businesses grew on Empire Boulevard, it became more problematic. What Penfield can control, she says, they do, like making turning lanes to get in and out of the apartment complexes at the bottom of the hill. You just have to watch your speed yeah. and... and um, be aware of your surroundings. Deach wants to see a traffic light here that will slow traffic and allow safe turns out of the apartments, the marina, and the restaurants. I'm here today to save another family the grief and pain and suffering. And he says he sent letters to local elected officials, but each time the state steps in and nothing gets done here. Live in Penfield, Christian Garzone, News 8. Adam Theresa, right back to you. Christian, thank you. We have more coverage on this issue over on our website, rochesterfirst.com.